Hey there everybody, it's Zeon over at Nintendo Life, and today I just wanted to sit down and talk with you all a little bit about the new Link's Awakening remake that just got announced for the Nintendo Switch. Now I don't want to go say that I went and called it, but part of me would love to someday see a remake on 3DS or Switch, but honestly, does it really need one? I might have called it? Link's Awakening was the first game I ever played in the series. I remember staying over at my grandparents' house. I wasn't feeling well, I don't remember if I stayed home from school or what, um, but my cousin Marcel was there and he brought his Game Boy, his original, with the original copy of Link's Awakening. I was probably about six and that was the first time I was ever exposed to, to the game. Growing up, or a couple couple years later rather, uh, I ended up getting a Game Boy Color and played the DX version. It was probably the first handheld game I actually ever played as well, now that I think back on it. For that reason alone, the game's always going to hold a special place in my heart, and like I said, it, I don't think we ever really needed a remake, but now that we're actually getting one, I need it more than anything. We've heard rumors about a Link's Awakening remake uh, for quite some time now. Those rumors never seem to hold any merit since we hadn't actually heard anything yet. And it, it's been a while since we've heard rumors like that, so my expectations for that remake were, were pretty low. So at the end of the Direct, when they actually did announce that, the remade intro from Link's, Link's Awakening of Link on, on the raft or his boat um, in the, the rushing water out in the ocean, I didn't connect the dots right away. I actually was, th I was so hyped that and thought that we were getting an Animal Crossing announcement that I was expecting Cap'n to come riding down that wave on his boat, just singing at the top of his lungs. But in the end, you know, we ended up seeing Link on the boat and I lost my mind. I, I just couldn't comprehend what was even happening. What was the game gonna look like? I was so just lost in happiness with questions. Like I was feeling every single emotion you possibly could think of um, at that time because I've wanted this for so long, but I didn't think it was gonna happen anymore. And then when the actual gameplay hit, my heart sunk because I, I wasn't necessarily in love with it at first. It wasn't what I was expecting the game to look like. Maybe I was expecting it more to look like A Link Between Worlds, but granted this is on the Switch so it has it's m much more powerful than the 3DS is. So in that regard it, it somewhat shares some traits stylistically, but the whole kind of toy aesthetic that, that I feel that it, it has, I wasn't expecting that at all. So my, my smiles and and expression quickly faded away. But after sitting back down and, and looking at the gameplay more and uh, observing or, or analyzing the screenshots, I feel a lot better about it. And going back and looking, you know, and seeing what the game looks like, because it's been years since I've truly sat down and played Link's Awakening. For example, how Link can take or gets photos taken. And if you look at those photos, they do look very similar, but that's kind of what the gameplay looks like. And at my first one of my first thoughts originally when I saw it was like, oh no, this is this is the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Funko Pop Edition. But uh, yeah, I just, I wasn't absolutely in love with it at first. Because when Wind Waker came out, I wasn't one of those skeptics or anything. I was in love with it. I, I was still a kid. I was, I was probably 10. Maybe I was just feeling some of that confusion that all of those people thought that were, you know, saw the Space World cutscene of Link fighting Ganon back in like Space World 99 or 2000, and then they then they see Wind Waker and they were confused as to what was going on. Where I, I don't think I necessarily knew what I wanted, but I'm not sure if that was it. But like I said, after rewatching the gameplay and obs observing it more, um, I'm I'm in. Uh, everything has like a really cutesy charm, and another one of my friends put it very well that this is probably the true vision of what they wanted to see on the Game Boy and they couldn't do that because of its limitations. And if you go look and compare the 8-bit version of Link from Link's Awakening on the Game Boy to the new sprite, they do look very similar. I'd really like to see the scenes with the photographer from Link's Awakening fleshed out a little more, maybe done in somewhat of like an animated art style like the intro was done. There's so much potential and it was done so well and we've never really had something like that for Zelda. I, like There were some Smash Bros animated videos a long time ago. Besides the unforgettable 90, 80s, 90s cartoon, which we don't have to talk about that. Another thing I'm not really sure if I want or not is voice acting. I personally am one of the people that think that it was done well in Breath of the Wild. I played through the first time with English voice acting and I've since beating the game I've gone and t changed it to Japanese uh, and it, it's it's pretty solid. I know some people though that just aren't a fan of the voice acting, but I, I think it does add to the overall experience and not making Link talk is still a nice touch. The one thing I don't want with voice acting is to give the owl any vocal dialogue lines. Just make him hoot a little bit and that'll be, that'll be just fine with me. 
I'm glad that they're sticking so close to the feel and the vision of the original as well, like still keeping the Goombas in there from the side-scrolling portions and the Bow Wow, or Bow Wow the Chain Chomp as well. Like some of those things are, I was curious if they would change them up to make them look more like they, they fit into the Zelda universe, but no, they, they kept them as true to Mario as they could. The last thing I really hope they do as well is please, please make a standard three-pack amiibo with Marin, Link, and the Owl. And you sure, you could add the Windfish, you could do a Bow Wow one, do whatever you want. This world does look like it's made of toys. It's not like Yoshi's Crafted World or any of the Kirby games that took, you know, the more artistic approach. It, it kind of has a, like a Pokemon Rumble Blast feel to it almost, and it would fit perfect with amiibo. And just if you do make them, just make enough of them. Or let us pre-order them for a good solid couple months so that way you, you can get all the orders in and everybody can be happy because we all remember what happened with the 30th anniversary Zelda amiibo. And I still don't have the Skyward Sword one. But now it's our turn to ask what you thought of the reveal. Are you a fan of the art direction? Or would you rather have had something more in line with Breath of the Wild style gameplay? Leave us a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, sing a song for that like button, subscribe to Nintendo Life, and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Zeon from Nintendo Life. Until next time.